Beach. Here we are. Nikki D. Ray decided to come back to work today, and we're all <laughs> thankful for that. I'm glad y'all had a good long weekend. It was, it was a hot Father's Day, though, wasn't it? Oh, it was my steamy. stars, Ben. Did you no. even make it outside? I did, because when you got little ones and they want to go outside, they just see the sun. They don't care how hot it is at that age, but it was it's fun. So true, and they don't care what yeah. time it is a either. Daddy was sweating, but that's all good. <laughs> so hot out there. It's almost like our own sauna. Yeah. But it's not the case elsewhere. I mean, Ben, yeah. we've got some areas. We were talking about Phoenix last yeah, week. Yeah, right. They're still on the heat streak. That's we're talking crazy. temperatures for those guys right now hmm. in the 90s. So it is yeah. all about the perspective. We yeah. get the heat and the humidity, but there are other spots that have not had any relief. I mean, look at this, Ben. Las Vegas right now we're coming in at 90. The sun's not even up 94 over in Phoenix. They have just dealt with some really extreme temperatures right here at home. Of course, we've been hot. We've been humid, but we have had a cold front move its way through and at a glance you actually can tell exactly where it is. We're coming in here in Nashville at 66 Montgomery still at 73 70 coming in in Atlanta. All about perspective. Look for the good and we're going to find some right now. We're coming in 66 degrees right here in Music City. Winds have now shifted in Davidson County out of our north northwest at eight. This northerly wind is going to fuel in some drier air in place and that's going to allow for a very moderate day. Now over in Cookville, your temperature is a little lower. You're coming in at 63, but notice your winds. They're beginning to shift. Got a little easterly component getting some of that northeast moving its way in. You'll notice as far as rain is concerned, almost two tenths of an inch since midnight. The power five radar is still picking up on some of these showers. Really looking at this east of I-65. Once these move out, the cloud cover will filter in and we'll all have these northerly winds and that is just going to aid to a really nice dry day. I realize some of you are stepping out going, what are you talking about? I know it's not as warm as yesterday, but it's still humid and you're right. It is. Temperatures are in the upper 50s and 60s, but once that wind shift really takes over, dew points are going to drop, and that's when you're really going to notice the difference. If you step outside over in Murray, I mean, you really have noticed it. You're coming in at 55 for that dew point, still some 60s out there, and that's where we're getting that sticky component. As far as today, a lot of sunshine heading throughout the afternoon. This evening, crystal clear sky. So of course sun glare will be something to watch out for as sunsets not until after the eight o'clock hour tomorrow morning. Mostly clear start to our day temperatures mid fifties in the city outlying areas lower fifties. We had our way throughout Wednesday. Low dew points stay with us. Very nice, beautiful conditions. Perfect to get out to the lake, doing yard work that you might need to take care of because that humidity will begin to creep in. And you're going to notice a few more clouds Thursday, but still nice and mild. So northerly winds stay with us today, tomorrow, as we go throughout majority of our Thursday before they do shift out of the south. And that's when the heat and humidity kick it up another notch. So here's a look over the next seven days. I've got 30% in for rain. That's happening now. If you're east of I-65, you don't need to worry about it. Tomorrow morning, we're going to be in the mid to upper 50s in the city outlying areas. Won't be surprised if a few of you across the plateau. We're actually in the upper 40s. By the afternoon, 83, sunshine galore. We had our way going into Thursday near 90. Then this weekend, yeah, we're in the 80s, but it's going to feel like we're closer to that upper 90 degree mark with some scattered rain showers going into our weekend. But Ben and Amy, you know, steeplechase is headed our way on Saturday. We're not looking at a complete washout, but we will be dancing with a few rain chances.